Hey, what's up, guys? Ancient here, bringing you another episode of Vampire. In the last episode, you won't hear my audio because uh, I fucked up because I have not recorded in a while, and I my decibel my decibels are through the fucking roof. They are ear bleedingly awful. So yeah, that's a thing. And here's a thing, and this is a thing. And that's also a thing. Uh, but, yeah. Like I said in the last video, I, I have not, um... I haven't put up a video in a while because I've been in the... Uh, uh, like I said, I'm in the university now. I'm doing a media course, so... I don't have as much time as I once did. I no longer have all the fucking time in the universe. Which is both fortunate this and unfortunate. Can't be my maker. Could it be some subspecies of vampire? I must find a place to analyze the blood. Yes. Uh, which, yeah, I'm, I'm doing a media course, which is pretty fucking awesome. I finally have something to do with my life. I have a reason to wake up in the morning, which is interesting to say the least. But. Yeah, I don't quite have time to upload as, as regularly as I once did, which is sad. Okay, they're not speaking apparently. There's no dialogue here. Okay, I don't have to be quiet. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, once I, now that I've settled in a bit more into Stockholm, into my apartment, I'm gonna start... Where are we headed? We're on our way to the Pembroke Hospital. It's just across the canal. They'll have a bed uh -huh. for poor Mr. Hampton. William was... What manner of creature was he? Predator, prey, villain, and victim. Who can say? The important mm -hmm. thing is that he's been stopped. Duly noted. And the woman? What? Who is she? What woman? Oh, don't play me for a fool. You use me to locate that skull. You must know who she is. And I thought you were a gentleman. You shouldn't talk about a lady behind her back. But I will tell you, she values her privacy. Hmm. Were London as peaceful as she appears from the middle of the canal? If only that were the reality of the situation. To be honest, uh -huh. I always try to avoid this part of town. Pembroke Hospital is the last bastion between the rest of London and the epidemic. The flu has decimated the East End and the war still rages. Welcome to the front lines of a plague. This is where you work, Dr. Swansea. I am the administrator of Pembroke Hospital. I thought you were here in service of your mysterious order, the Brotherhood of... Of St. Paul's Stone, yes. But first and foremost, I'm a man of science. A physician, like yourself, Dr. How, Reed. How, how do you know who I am? No need for modesty. You are Dr. Jonathan Reed, a surgeon of some caliber and renown, if I'm not mistaken. You are correct, sir. I knew it. I had my suspicions. But when you took the blood sample from the corpse of poor William, I was certain. Dr. Reed, marvelous. Uh huh. Have you finished met? nerding out there? I attended three of your seminars before the war. I have the utmost admiration for your research. <laughs> and what a turn of fate. England's most esteemed blood specialist returns to London a vampire. Uh -huh. <laughs> that word again from a so called man of science. I understand traditionally the role of science is to refute myth, but when myth walks among us. The Brotherhood of St. Paul has dedicated they fucked up the subtitles. to their study. There's so much for you to learn. And for that, you are right. Well, then let me be blunt. Join my staff at Pembroke Hospital. As a physician. I suspect you'll not find a better post of employment to contemplate your uh, predicament. This is sudden. I was returning home to see my sickly mother. But alas, that was before contracting this... affliction. 
Dr. Reed. Take a moment to consider. The post would be for the night shift, providing a good explanation for your absence during daylight hours. You'll be adequately reimbursed and have a place to hide. I even had the forethought to bring some clean clothes. So, what do you say? It seems I have little choice, but yours is a generous offer, so I thank you. Brilliant! Oh, Jonathan, this is one for the book, and the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Aren't vampires supposed to have, like... Increased regenerative powers. Why is that hole still in his back? Dr. Swansea, thank goodness. I was beginning to be concerned. Worry no more, Nurse Crane. For I bring good news. Oh, Doctor, what a night. We lost two more patients. Nurse Scow said she couldn't take it anymore and resigned. Yes, well, I'll make a new rotor in the morning. In the meantime, find a... good bed for Mr. Hampton. Be sure to pay attention to his needs. Of course, Doctor. Oh, and Dorothy? Yes, Doctor? Doctor Reed here has just returned from the front. He served King Country and will be joining us here at Pembroke. We're very lucky to have gained a surgeon of his talent, and one so experienced in blood transfusions. That is good news indeed, Doctor. <laughs> oh, yes. Blood transfusions. Uh, here at Pembroke, it's not what we have, but what we haven't. It's only thanks to Nurse Crane and the staff that our ship doesn't sink. If you have any questions, just ask her. Duly noted. Thank you. Your assistance is required, Dr. Swansea, immediately. Welcome aboard, Jonathan. We'll catch up after my rounds. You're coming, Nurse Crane. I'm coming. I'm sorry, Jonathan. Mr. Hampton needs me right now. Yes. Come on, you bastard. You can do better than that. Nah. It's my turn. Oh, shit. Rotten or pristine, each heart contains the secret of life. Drink at this river. Try it all. <laughs> oh, come on, you bastard. I won't bite. Sir, please. You've lost too much blood. Calm yourself. You think I didn't notice? Stop you staring and get me to an hospital, you ass! Good God, I want to kill you, but... Insulting a good Samaritan. Not exactly the way to get rescued. All right, all right, sorry. I am in pain here. My guts are spilling out onto the street and you're yabbering on. Yes. That's a very nasty wound you've got there. Take my word, I was... I am a doctor. Dr. Jonathan Reed. Name's Clay Cox. I'd appreciate you helping me to a better place, Doc. Follow me, Mr. Cox. Let me assist you to that better place. Wait. Do I actually need to... I'll release him. No more. Not tonight. Not like this. I will not take another life.
I'm going to be a nice person this playthrough. It is wise for the huntsman to sometimes let his prey go. But no famished hunter can run for long. I get the feeling that whoever's voice that is, his plan is to get me to become super powerful and then he's gonna feed on me.